What is an electronic overcurrent relay? An EOCR is based on a microprocessor controller unit, or MCU which monitors the current with the use of current transformer, process this data and provides trip output to protect a motor or load. An electronic overload offers greater accuracy, flexibility and more functionality when compared to a standard thermal overload. Their use is mostly in critical infrastructure like power plants, mining and industrial plants where the additional visibility and flexibility are required. How the electronic overcurrent works. The MCU is processing the current as data in real time, and provide an output based on the current, time and other protection parameters which can be preset in the EOCR. The basic protection features incorporated in this sample EOCR includes overcurrent, phase lost and locked rotor. Advanced EOCR have additional protection features like a reverse phase, phase unbalance undercurrent, ground fault, and short circuit which are useful for critical equipment. External parts of an electronic overcurrent relay. Control power supply terminals. The relay requires a power supply for the microprocessor control unit. Available in different voltage ratings. Current transformer. It measures and converts in ratio the high actual current in cable, to a low current that MCU can handle, and uses these values for monitoring and protection functions of the relay. D time or delay time setting knob. It sets a delay time to let high inrush current during startup, to pass and goes to a normal operating current, before the EOCR trips. Ampere trip or load trip setting. Used to set the ampere trip value of motor as per nameplate FLA. LED display. The display provides trip indication and ammeter functions. The cause of the trip is display and stays, until reset is done to assure easy troubleshooting. Dip switch for single phase and three phase motor. Dip switch for fail safe and non fail safe mode, selects the tripping relay output. O time or operating time knob. It sets the time in second, on which the current should be over the ampere setting continuously at the whole operating time period, before the EOCR trips. Auxiliary contacts terminals. 95 to 96 is normally close, and 97 to 98 is normally open. These contact status changes when EOCR trips. Test button. It is a force trip button, to check EOCR trip function and auxiliary contact status. Test function is only possible when the motor is in stop status, and not possible while the motor is running. Reset button. Depressing the reset button, or interrupting the power supply to EOCR, returns the relay to normal pre-start condition. Here are the two samples of EOCR specifications. The EOCR is available in the market with different current ratings, control voltage rating and the protection functions. Depending on the application, these are the basic specifications that should be considered when ordering an EOCR. Setting of ampere trip value for EOCR. From the motor nameplate, the rated full load ampere or FLA is available. In this sample motor, we can see that it's a two voltage motor. Select the proper voltage and its equivalent FLA for your system. Since we are using 460 volts in this sample, then FLA of motor is equivalent to 1.47 or around 1.50 amp. Ideally we should set the EOCR ampere trip setting based from the motor normal operating current IN, then multiply it to 110 to 115%. This should be lower or equal but not above the motor FLA. For this presentation we will use the 1.5 Ampere as overcurrent setting value. After we collected the information about motor FLA, we can now set the parameters in the EOCR. Set the overcurrent trip, turn the load setting knob to clockwise direction until reaching the desired set value, the display will show an increment of 0.10 Ampere for each step. Next set the delay time or D time to 5 seconds. Next set operating time or O time to 10 seconds. Then the dip switch is set as per your system requirements single phase or three phase and fail safe and non fail safe as per your application. How does the EOCR trip functions work? Every start, the D time also starts counting, the relay senses five to eight times of motor rated full load current. The EOCR will not trip if the starting current goes below the 200% before the D time elapse. After the starting period, the motor goes to normal current level. 
when the current then suddenly goes up above the load current setting, the O time starts counting. If the overload is not maintained until the O time elapses, the EOCR will not make a trip, and the O time will reset back to zero. When the motor current goes up again above the load setting, the O time will then start counting again. If the overcurrent was maintained, up to the end of O time setting, the EOCR will trip. Auxiliary contacts condition changes, from NO to close and NC to open. Reset is required to normalize the relay. Locked rotor trip function. Starting a motor from complete stop, motor draws high starting current. If the motor starting current was kept equal, or above 200% of the over ampere trip setting at the entire delay time or D time, locked rotor trip will activate within 0.5 second. Phase loss function. During a phase loss, the motor winding may increase by 150% more. A loss of any of the three phases will be indicated in the EOCR. As the motor current increases, the winding temperature also increase and possibly damage the winding insulation. The relay will trip after three seconds upon detecting the phase loss. The quick trip time of the EOCR helps to prevent overcurrent damage to the motor windings. To normalize an EOCR from any trip cause, the reset button should be pressed. Here is the schematic diagram using NEMA standard. Let us assemble a simple across the line, our doll starter with an EOCR, and other components that will complete the motor starter. Molded case circuit breaker. Magnetic contactor. The load, a three-phase motor. Miniature circuit breaker. Isolation or step-down transformer. Start and stop push buttons. EOCR or electronic overcurrent relay. Let us wire the doll starter. Using the schematic diagram, follow the wiring configuration as per assigned termination points on each device. Pay attention to the diagram as it changes status during the operation sequence that we will see. Let's say 460 volts 3 phase is present on the upstream of MCCB and MCB. Switching on the MCCB, the voltage will be present on contactor input. Switching on the MCB energizes the control transformer, stepping down the voltage from 460 to 230 volts, which is being supplied to the control circuits. The close loop of transformer output. NC of stop button and EOCR terminal A1 and A2, energizes the protection relays. At this condition the motor is ready to start. Press the start button, the normally open contact of the push button will close, voltage will be available in contactor coil A1. Once the contactor is energized, all of its main contacts close, supplying voltage to the motor to make it run. At this instant, even if you release the start push button, the contactor will remain energized, due to the close position of the holding contact from the contactor. To make a normal stop on the motor, press the stop button, the NC contact of the push button will go to an open position, cutting the close loop for the EOCR, and magnetic contactor coil power supplies. Current will stop flowing from these circuits, and both magnetic contactor, and EOCR will be de-energized. The motor will also be de-energized, and stop to rotate. Releasing the press on the stop button, returns its contact to NC position. Control power circuit for EOCR will be closed, energizing it and resets the protection relay to its normal state. When a motor experienced an overload during its operation, a current higher than the overcurrent trip setting will be displayed on the LED. If overcurrent period extends beyond the operating time setting, the EOCR will trip. The auxiliary contacts will change position from NC and NO, to open and close position respectively. Once it happens voltage to the contactor coil will be cut. Current will stop flowing, then it will be de-energized. Main contacts and holding contact will open. Motor stop to rotate after losing power supply. After the cause of the trips were investigated and rectified. The relay can be reset, by pressing the stop push button, or by pressing the reset button on the relay. Once a reset is done, all the auxiliary contacts will return to its default status.
At this condition, the motor is ready for next starting operation. If you are interested to my channel content and want to see more of this presentation, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.